Okay, I will show you guys how to differentiate the Lambert W function. And of course, right here, if you want, you can write this as W prime of x. No, we can actually do much better than that. This is so cheating, isn't it? We can actually write the derivative of W of x in terms of W of x itself, and let me show you how. But you have to make sure that you watch my previous video so you know all the identities that I mentioned it so far, okay? So first of all, I'm going to tell you guys that we know when we have W of x times e to the W of x right here, this will give us just x. Why? Because w of x is the inverse of the function x times e to the x. So if you put w and w here, you will get the x back. And now by looking at this equation, we can just go ahead and differentiate both sets with respect to x. On the left hand side, this is a product of two functions, so we are going to use the product rule. So I will keep the first function, namely w of x, and we multiply by the derivative of the second, which is going to be e to the w of x. And then by the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of that, which is w prime of x. And then we add this with the second function, which is e to the w of x, and then we multiply by the derivative of the first, which is once again w W prime of x. And then as you can see on the right hand side, differentiating x in the x world, you get 1. I told you right here already, right? So this is equal to 1. And now you see, both terms right here have the w prime of x. So of course, we can factor that out. And then in the meantime, I'm also dividing this and that to the other side. So this is equal to 1 over this right here, which is w of x times e to the w of x. And then we add this with e to the w of x. So you think this is pretty much it, right? But as of course, we can do better. Because you see, w times e to the w, this is equal to x. So this right here is just x. And if you only have e to the w of x right here, you can divide both sides by w of x. So this is equal to x over that, x over w of x, like that. And right here, you see, we actually end up with a complex fraction, 1 over x plus x over w of x. Of course, we can just do some algebra. Let's multiply the top and bottom by w of x. So you see that on the top, we actually just have w of x on the bottom. This times that, we have x times w of x, and then we add this with, this times that cancel, of course. So you have just x right here, and with that, we are done. And this is the derivative of the Lambert w function. And let me know in the comment down below to see if you guys would like me to include this on my shirt or not. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And as always, that's it.